Today we're going to be looking at the 2017 February Gold question, why did the cow cross the road too? So in this question, Farmer John has n breeds of cows and he has a road in the middle with farms on the, each side. So he has n farms on each side, so each breed is going to have one farm on the left and one on the right. And what we want to do is we want to draw cross rocks across the road so that the cows can go from the farms. So the thing is, these breeds have their different friendliness, and we can only have two crosswalks cross if the two cow breeds are friendly. So we want to give the maximum amount of friendly cross rocks that he can draw across the road. So let's look at the algorithm for the question. So the main algorithm we're going to use to solve this question is going to be DP or dynamic programming. Let's say we're going to start with this point. In order for it to not intersect, what's going to happen is we're going to move it here. And the next point here is only going to be able to take other numbers on the right side lower than the other value. So what this basically means is what we're going to do for our DP is we're going to have two dimensions. We're going to have the first dimension here be the current number on the left or the highest number on the left that we're using. And then we're going to have this number over here be the highest number on the right we're using. And what this is basically going to do is it's just going to say at this point here, if these two are connected here, the highest point that this point here can connect to is going to be right here. And the lowest point is just the end. So dpij is just going to contain the maximum amount of values as we are currently at this state, or the maximum amount of crosswalks. And again, the reason this works is, if I have this kind of line, well, if I were to do something equal to, that wouldn't be valid. And if I were to do something greater, then it would definitely intersect. That's just how intersections work. So with this, what we're basically going to do is the hardest part of this question is making this observation right here. So instead, what we're going to do is we're just going to have our first dimension be this and our second dimension be this. And what's going to happen is our state is basically going to be, we're going to start here and we're going to say dpij. And we're going to have an if. So the first if is just going to say if the distance between i and j, so we're just going to assume i is here and j is here, well, it means they're no longer friendly, which means no matter what, it's invalid. So in that case, we're just going to take the minimum of the previous values, so dpi minus 1j, dpij minus 1, and dpi minus 1, j minus 1. And then if the distance between these two is less than 4, what that means is they're friendly, so we can either a create a crosswalk between them or b just not create a crosswalk between them and then continue on from here so the algorithm for this question is pretty simple the hardest part is finding the observation right here about this so let's go look at the code for this question so the first thing we have here is we're just going to set up the program and i've created two vectors so we're going to have the left r and the right r for the left side and the right side and so what we're going to do is we're just going to resize them, and then we're going to read in the input. So I'm going to read them in on one base, and then we're going to create our DP. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a 2D DP of n plus 1, n plus 1, and we're going to loop through both i and j. And what we're basically going to do is that we're going to check, again, the one main thing. We're going to see whether or not they're friendly. So if they are friendly, what we're going to do, again, we're going to do ABS, and then we're just going to have left R, right R, and then check if they're less than or equal to 4. We're just going to make the value of dpij, dpi minus 1, j minus 1, plus 1. So this is assuming we're doing a, another line straight across. And if they are not friendly, then we're just going to create and look at all of the other combinations. So in this case here, we're connecting points i and j. And if they cannot be connected, we're just going to do the max of them not being connected. So basically not including them. And then at the very end, we're just going to output dpnn. And that's the end of our program.